to bless the people. Bind the hands of the adversary right now. For that we give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. 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 Yeah, praise the Lord. Praise amen. the Lord. I say praise God. Amen. For amen. another Wednesday. For truly this is the day that the Lord hath made. We shall be glad and rejoice in it. Amen. Thank God for Amen. For um, another day that He's kept us. Amen. Praise God. I will sing another song. It will be just another day that the Lord has kept us. Yeah. Kept us from all danger and fear. Just another day that the Lord Amen. has kept us. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for being here. We say praise the Lord for Praise Temple. Amen. We continue to practice social distancing through this month of June. Praise the Lord. Amen. Continue to be. Amen. Safe with one another. But we'll continue to preach and teach the word of God. Amen. Twenty twenty is turning out to be quite a year. Amen. Amen. But we know God does not change. So uh, last week we're going to pick up where we left off last week. Amen. In Galatians chapter two. Amen. And around verse fourteen and fifteen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And <clears throat> Deacon, if you turn that mic, that I mean that, uh, that projector on the back. Of Praise the Lord. So, uh, our key verse comes from Galatians chapter 5. Amen. And uh, this is the key verse of the whole book. And uh, for us who have not been with us a few Wednesdays, we've been in Galatians chapter 2. Our, our thought for the year, amen, is to look at the writings of Paul. Amen. 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 And we went through the book of Philippians, and now we're in the book of Galatians. And the Lord hopefully will lead us to another one of his books as we are studying the Word of God. Uh, Paul is a good person to study because Paul was the apostle to the Gentiles. Paul, praise the Lord, wrote those 13 books of the New Testament that deals with uh, our going in and coming out in the church. And how to conduct church life. Amen? Amen. How to live, praise God, and exist, amen, amongst people of like precious faith, though people may be different from us. And that's one of the things the book of Galatians is that uh, here, uh, verse 5 1, uh, the book of Galatians, and we'll look at it on the next screen, we're dealing with people coming into the church that were a little different than they were. Amen? amen. Yeah. And they're trying to become part of the church, but. As we all know, praise the Lord, when a new group comes in, they have to uh, work with the group that's already there. Amen. And that's what was going on. <clears throat> praise God that there was some conflict arising between those who were already there and those who God was allowing to come into the house of God. The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. Amen. Amen. And we strive with some of the same things also in the days in the 2020 church where a church has been established or has set certain things and new people come in and they bring stuff with them. And we have to ask God to give us grace. Amen? Amen. And um, no different than when um, we came into the church. Praise the Lord. Even though we, some of us have been in the church all our lives, there was a day when we actually decided to make a decision to be to be the church and not and stop just coming to the church. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So there's a strive for us to do that. So in verse 5, chapter 1, it says, Stand back, therefore, in the liberty where Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yokes of bondage. So God is telling us, amen, that he's given us liberty. Praise God. And Christ has made us free. Aren't you glad about that tonight? Amen. amen. You know, one thing that I've been able to ponder over these last few weeks while we've been in self-quarantine is that God is so gracious. God is so good. God is so merciful. Praise the Lord. Amen. That he decided to step out of his glory, step out of everything of what he knew existed, and decided to die for me. That's a phenomenal thing. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And I've been hearing it my, all my life, but for some reason it's been impressed upon my heart even more. Praise the Lord, what God has done for me personally. Amen. Amen. And how he decided to save me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I share all the time I talk, I said, you're not saved by accident. No, sorry. God decided to save you. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Though, praise God, you think that you accepted him, he really called you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Amen. Praise God. He really called you into his holiness and righteousness. And by that, Lord, I say thank you. Mm -hmm. And, he's, and But he's saying that once you come into the freedom of Christ and the freedom
freedom of the things that I have set you free from, those things still want to attack your life. Right. Mm -hmm. Those things still want to get you to come on back to where you got delivered from. Praise the Lord. The Bible says all that's in the world is what? Lust of the eye, lust of the, eye. Lust of the flesh, mm -hmm. and the pride of life. And we know that all those things are going to pass away with this world. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. But being in this world, praise God, once Christ sets us free, those items or those things or thoughts or actions or ideas still constantly are nipping at my heels, if you please. Mm -hmm. Trying to encourage me to come on back. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and leave the Lord alone. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But there comes a time... I believe in your mind and your life where you just make up your mind that you're not going back. Amen. 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 Praise God. There's a time in your mind and your life, I believe, that all of us have to strive to to where you say, you know what? I'm just not going back to do that no more. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Because Christ, I've, I've made Christ my hope. I've made Christ my way. I've made Christ Amen. The one I'm looking after. Can we say amen? Amen. Praise God. And I believe every person has to strive to get there. One of the greatest things that we deal with in the church today is that it's dealing with individuals who have not made that choice up yet. Right. Amen. And they're here one day and the next day they're doing something else and the next day they're doing something else and then they're here in the church and doing it. they just haven't made up their mind. And that's why we have to pray for the ones around us that God will give them a fervent decision, amen, about serving him wholeheartedly. Amen? Amen. amen. Praise God. And and you know, as much as I see other ones, I, I, I see myself too. Right. Praise God, because I thought about that, you know, I, I'm not where I am, or I've not always been where I am, and by God's grace, the enemy is trying to take me from where I'm at. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. It's by the grace of God that I'm that, that you know, uh, I shared with one of the brothers before we came on. He said, by, uh, by, by grace are you saved. Amen. Through faith. Through faith. It is a gift from God. Amen. Yeah. My salvation, God gifted me. Uh, in 2020 terms, I would say God paid it forward, if you please. Amen. <laughs> paid it forward in my salvation. I'm saved now. But guess what? I'm saved also when Jesus returns. That's right. I'm saved by faith. That's Amen. right. Praise God. I, I, when I call myself saved, I'm not saved yet. I'm still in the presence of sin. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the world of sin. I just been delivered from the power of sin. Amen. But real salvation is, is being taken out of all those. That's right. And that's what happens. That's what Christ promises when he comes to take the church or wrap the church. When we get raptured, church, we are no longer going to be in the presence of sin. Right. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. 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 We're no longer going to amen, amen, have the nips or the heels or the pressure or the or the presence of sin trying to take us over. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. We will be fully delivered, amen, from the curse of sin because the curse of sin is death. Mm -hmm. But we will be what? Alive. Amen. So that's the joy that we're looking for. Amen. Praise God. Us as being saved. When we talk about being saved, we're talking about, amen, getting out of these things that keep nipping at my heels. Mm -hmm. Praise God. All I got to do is go down the road and go the wrong way. And, amen, and somebody cut me off or do something. And, and I feel that old sin, man, try to what? Jump back up in. Right. That's right. Amen. amen. Praise God. But God is calling here. So he's dealing with the Galatians church almost 2,000 some years ago. That don't allow those things to do what? Get you tied up again. Amen. Amen. You got to literally turn around and tell some things I'm not going to do. I'm, I, I, I'm not going to be with you no more. That's right. You got you to face some things. Praise God. You got to say, you know, I'm, I'm just not. You got to sometimes got to tell it. I'm not doing it. Just like you almost got to treat some things like, you know, some people you got to cut off. Right. Sometimes right. you got to turn around and, and, and turn around and talk to them like they're a person. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's still a spirit motivating it. So you got to turn around and talk to that spirit and say, you know what? I'm not going with you no more. The Bible says if we resist what? The, the devil. devil, he'll do what? Flee. Flee. Who believes that? Amen. Amen. You got to resist him. Say, no, I'm not doing that no more. He, he, and you know what? He talks a good game. The best salesman there ever was is the devil. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He tries to talk a good name, but guess what? You got to say, you know, I'm not interested. Praise God. But he's going to come back and try again. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I say all that to say this is that Christ wants us to be free, church. Mm -hmm. And if God has set you free, stay free. 
Amen. Who the Son has set free is what? Free, free indeed. indeed. And walk in your liberty. Walk in your freedom according to the word of God. Amen. The word of God does not grant unlimited liberty. It grants guided liberty. Amen. Praise the Lord. God says, praise God, amen, uh, 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 that, 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 that we are to walk, praise God. He said he shall be a, what, a lamp unto amen. my feet, right? Amen. And a light, a revelation unto what? Of my pathway. Is that what, is that what, is that what the psalmist said? Yes, sir. Praise God. It, it, is a, it is a guided liberty, but it's not unlimited where you get to do whatever you want to do. Amen. You have to, praise God, ask God to walk in the liberty Amen. Praise God. He said, stand fast there in the liberty where Christ has made you free. That's a certain type of liberty. Amen. And you got to walk in that liberty. But guess what, church? If God is, watch this, if God is the greatest thing that ever existed, if God is the most powerful uh, entity that ever lived in the universe, and, and, and his freedom and freedom of liberty comes from him, do you not think that he will grant the greatest liberty and the greatest freedom there is to know in the universe? Amen. Because it has to take on his attributes. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, so, so people say, "Why well, you can't do nothing in the church?" Well, guess what? You look at the wrong thing. Right. <clears throat> do a whole lot. Praise God. But guess what? But if you think about sinning, that's something different. Amen. Uh, Amen. And Amen. that's usually what people Our want to do. That's, right. that's usually what they want to do. They want to do something contrary to the guided liberty of God's given. God said so you can be free, but guess what? Remember in the Old Testament, and I'm going to get to my list tonight, I'm going to talk a little bit. Can I just talk a little bit? Amen. Remember Amen. in the Old Testament when uh, 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 there was a, uh, uh, a, an infection that went out through the, through, through the people of God. A plague went out, right? Mm -hmm. And God told Moses, take a stick and put a serpent on it. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And if you look at the stick and the serpent, guess what? You'll be what? Delivered. Delivered. Be healed. Do you not know that thousands of people died because they wouldn't look at the snake right. on the stick. You might say, why are all people going to die? They died because they didn't want to walk in the leadership of God. That's right. Praise God. They didn't want to walk in the guided liberty that God gave them. Praise the Lord. Amen. It don't, it look, it, 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 it does not make no sense how a stick, a snake on a stick, stick brings deliverance. Right. But that's what God wanted us to do. Right. And so it's no different today when God says, you know, leave them alone. Come out from among them, be ye separate, say the Lord. They that do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. It's the same thing. Same thing. It's the same thing. God has a way. Amen. But the Bible declares in the book of Proverbs, there's a way that what? Seems right to a man. That's right. But the end thereof are what? The wages, wages. of death. Yeah. You seem like you're doing right. See what's going on. Praise God. And you know what? There could be a whole lot of people in the lake that thought they were doing right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And they're going to find out that what they were doing was what? Incorrect. That's why the Bible says this. I'm going to move on from this point. He says, search the scriptures. For in them you think you shall find what? Eternal life. Eternal life. you got to open that Bible for yourself and read That's something right. out. That's right. Come on, Pastor. Amen? Come Amen. On. Praise God. No matter what. The, you know, I'm a preacher. I'm a pastor. Praise God. I'm an elder. Praise God. But uh, 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 I can say some things out of the Bible. But until you open that Bible... And look it in there for yourself. Amen. Praise God. And then guess what? Fact check what I'm saying. Ooh, Jesus. Praise the Lord. You're gonna find out, amen, that that Bible says a whole lot of stuff. Amen. Amen. So 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 the, that's why the word of God is so powerful. That's why it's still the number one selling book in the world. Amen. Because it's still, amen, it's leading us in what? And guiding us into the guide liberty that God has given us. Praise the Lord. And God wants us to live in this liberty. Amen. Praise God. And we have to know, amen, that the Lord is not going to do anything to us that's going to hurt us. Amen. amen. He's not going to tell you to do anything in that word of God that's going to damage you. Amen. You may, it may not always feel good, but guess what? It's good for you. Amen. Come on now. Amen. amen. Everything that don't feel good, praise God, doesn't mean it's not good for you. Amen. 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 Praise God. It seems like when you sick, I, I got to go. When you sick <laughs> and they give you some cough medicine. I think it's the nastiest medicine they can find. Amen. Oh, that stuff be nasty. Castrol. Oh my goodness. I'm going to tell you. My daddy does stuff called goose grease. It was grease from a goose mm. that he kept in a jar on the stove. Mm. And if you got sick, Ooh. mama would take a spoon. Oh Jesus. I have a flashback. 
a, not a teaspoon, but a, a tablespoon. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <geez. laughs> and we had one of those old electric stoves, and she put that thing right on that stove, mm. and that goose, that grease was liquefied. Ooh, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> Maybe they won't get sick. <laughs> Show that stuff in your mouth, cat, otherwise known as castor or whatever. And that stuff be so nasty. It was so nasty that if you were sick, you, you act like you weren't sick. Right, right. Because you knew what was going to happen. <laughs> but, 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 but what I'm trying to understand is that when you took it, it cleaned you out. But guess right. what? You felt better the next couple of days. Right. I don't know what was in that stuff, but guess what? I don't want to do, look, I don't want, I don't want to do that no more. <laughs> but it, was, it, it wasn't good to me, but it was good for me. Amen. Amen. And that's the way the word of God sometimes is to our flesh. It ain't good to my flesh because this place is going to pass away, but it's good to my spirit. Amen. And it's good for my spirit. It's good for my soul. It's good, amen, for my spirit and spiritual life when I walk. So the word of God, that's why Bible class is so important, is that Bible class, amen, is designed for us to look at the word of God so it can feed my soul. Amen. What Paul's writing here speaks to my life. Amen. Yeah, you got questions before we move on? Yeah, I just want, I know we're going to move on, but I just wanted to say thank you. And I think that I speak for Anybody that has ever sat under you, Pastor Brown, what you just said about the fact check, about reading it for yourself. Because we live in a day today, we live in a time where there are so many churches, there are so many places that are not doing that, that are not preaching and teaching, that you need to read the word for yourself. Don't just take because I'm a bishop, I'm a pastor, I'm an elder, what I'm saying. Yes, I hope the people sitting in the congregation take you for what you're saying is true. But we have to read it for ourselves. So I just want to say thank you for that. God bless you, sir. This is the reason why I put the put the scriptures. You know, I put a lot of stuff on the screen, but I put the word on the screen. Amen. Amen. Because faith comes by what? Hearing. Hearing, Hearing by what? The word of God. God. We can put a whole lot of diagrams, a whole lot of pictures on the screen, right? Right. But what's but in the end, what's going to help us the most? The word. The word of God. Amen? Amen. So, I mean, we got some nice little beautiful blue screens up there, but guess what? I'm going to give you the word of God. Amen. And that's why we're going to Galatians chapter 2, verse 14. So when you <laughs> open your word, your Bible, praise the Lord, you can follow along what we're saying. Praise right. God. Because I want you to see what I'm talking about. Right. Amen. I want you to see what I'm talking about. I want you to see that I'm not making this stuff up. Now, the, the church the churches of Galatia had, Jew, had Gentiles coming into them. Right. Paul is preaching the gospel. Paul sends, sets up elders in the church that preach the gospel and he's preaching the gospel to everybody. And, but what's happened is that we had a set of Jews praise God, and that's where it says verse 15, who we are Jews by nature and not sinners of the Gentiles. Here in verse 15, and I'm going to pick up here, it's kind of where we left off last week. He's talking about this as we come in, praise God, we're not justified, amen, by the law. He's trying to let them know that Moses was good. Moses taught us what we needed to know. But guess what? Jesus said there's one greater than Moses is here. His right. name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And the Bible speaks that we're all pointed to Christ. Amen. The word of God points us to Christ, to Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Jesus appears on the Mount of Transfiguration. He appears there with, with two other individuals. Anybody know two individuals? He appears on the Mount of Transfiguration uh, with who? With Moses, Moses and, and with Elijah. Elijah. The, the theologians declare, amen, that Moses represents the, 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 the law of God, the written word, praise God. Amen. Elijah represents, amen, praise God, the prophetic word of God. Jesus represents the manifestation of God, of God's grace and God's truth. Praise the Lord. And how at the after they come off the Mount of Transfiguration, the Bible says that there's a voice that says, hear who? Hear Jesus. Hear what Jesus got to say. That's a profound statement. The writer in the gospel is telling us that Moses is great. We don't take nothing away from Moses. That's right. Man. Moses did great and mighty things for God. As a matter of fact, we preached, we talked a little bit about the, the time of Moses on Sunday, this past Sunday. Mm -hmm. Moses did great things. Praise God for the Lord and for his way. Elijah worked miracles, raised people from the dead. Amen? Amen. Praise God. But at the end of the day, amen, Moses and Elijah didn't do two things for you. First thing that Moses and Elijah did not do for you, either one of them did for you, is that they did not die for you. That's right. Amen. Jesus died for you. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Amen. And the next thing that they did not do for you, 
praise God, that Jesus did for you, is that, praise God, he rose on the third day. Amen. Jesus did that for you. Amen? Amen. And if I think about another thing that Jesus did for you, he sent back his spirit. That's right. Comfort. Moses and Elijah didn't do that for him. Nope. I got to go to the one that's doing the most for me. Amen. You can't tell me you ain't going to go after the person who's going to do the most for you. Mm -hmm. That's human nature. If you got a job and someone's paying you 50000 and you got another job doing the exact same thing, someone's paying you 75000 which job are you going to take? Uh, I'm going to take the one that got 75000 if you got another job, you're going to pay $100,000. Guess what? You're going to leave them two behind and say, you know, I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm doing the exact same thing. But guess what? They're paying much more. That's right. Jesus is paying much more than what Moses gave. Come on. And what Elijah gave. Moses paid. Moses gave a whole lot, didn't he? Sure did. Elijah gave a whole lot, right? Mm -hmm. But Jesus paid. Pays the cost. Thank you, sir. And, and Jesus pays, still pays today. Amen. Jesus is still paying today. Amen? He's Amen. still paying off. What do I mean by paying off? He's still, we still receiving That's right. of what? His revelation and his spirit. Amen. It comes from Jesus Christ. So, so when we look here, amen, we got to look point to Christ, he says, but by faith in Jesus Christ, even we have believed what? In Jesus Christ that we might be justified by what? Faith. By faith wow. in Christ. Now, let me talk about this. The Bible, everybody say faith. 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 Now faith is what? The substance, substance of things, things hoped for, hope for and things evidence things of what? Things not things not things 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 things. Do you believe faith has a direction? That's answer question is yes. 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 Your faith, you can't just have faith and faith not do nothing. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got faith, but your faith got to be pointed in a particular That's direction. That's right. My faith has to be towards Christ. Amen. Praise God. My faith has to be in Christ's direction. My faith has to be in Christ's way. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And James puts it on this line. He said, if a man have faith and have not works, praise God, I'll show you my faith by my word. He's shown that my faith is what? Directed in the things of not just God. Come on, somebody. Amen. I'm messing somebody's theology there. Come on. Not just in God. Because in order for me to get to God, I got to go to Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh, that's right. He said, no man can come to, up unto the Father, Except who we call God. That's right. Come on. He said, we go through him. Come on. Amen. So my faith has to be in Jesus' direction. That's right. Man. So I got to ask myself these questions. And, and, and what I'm doing in my life, is it, is it doing in faith or Jesus' direction? Amen. Or is it doing in faith and me believing in myself? Come on now. That's the question I got to ask myself. Amen? Amen. My faith has to be towards Jesus. Amen. Has to be towards Christ. That's what he's talking about here to, to the Galatian church. He's trying to let the Galatian church know that Mo Moses was good. Yes. Moses was great, but Moses didn't die for you. Right. Moses didn't rise for you. Moses didn't give you that Holy Ghost you enjoy. Come on. Jesus did. And that's what he's, and that and that's the that's the that's the monarch are the are the are, 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 are the focus of the of, of the singular focus of the church today has to be faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. That we might be justified by faith of Christ and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be what? Justified, be accepted. He's letting us know that it has to be what? In Christ. Amen? Amen. Now, I might be trying to nail a, a point home tonight, but the point I'm trying to nail home tonight, praise God, is that my faith has to have a direction in Christ, in, and it has to go towards Christ. Amen. Amen? It has to go towards Christ. Now, why, why do I keep saying Christ? The reason why I'm saying Christ is that, you know, his name was Jesus Christ, right? Amen. Amen. Christ means he is towards his, the anointed one. Amen. The Christos of God. Amen. The one, praise the Lord, and, and the anointing of God is what we enjoy today in the Holy Ghost. Right. Amen. When we talk about the Holy Ghost, we talk about being anointed. Amen. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. When the Holy, when they talk about that, when the, when the Holy Ghost came down and filled them, praise God, the, the Holy Ghost, amen, praise the Lord, was manifested by two ways. They spake another another language, mm -hmm. amen, and the Bible says it appeared like unto them as cloven and what? Tongues. Tongues of fire. Right. That means that the, that, that the anointing that had, that had fallen on them, praise the Lord, amen, was manifested itself. It, uh, it had a physical manifestation in their presence. Amen. What am I trying to say? The Holy Ghost, when it works, will physically manifest itself. Come on. How to do that? Miracles, signs, signs and wonders. And wonders. These signs 
sign shall follow them that what? Believe. That believe. Is that what it says? That's what it says. So when the Holy Ghost, what, 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 what Luke was talking about in one instance, we talked about the, that it was a physical manifestation. Today we can enjoy, I said enjoy, I said enjoy, watching God heal, deliver, and set people free. Amen. Amen. I enjoy watching people get delivered. Amen. I'm not, I'm not here necessarily spectating, but I'm enjoying watching God be God. Amen. Amen. And watching my faith toward, because we have faith in, in the anointing, Faith in the, in the power of God, and we and we have an expectation, amen, and it should bring you joy. What? What kind of joy? Joy unspeakable and what? Full of glory. Amen? Amen. So God is trying to help help not only the church here in Galatia, we trying to help the church today, amen, that even in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of these protests, in the midst of our world being turned upside down, praise God, I got to ask myself. Amen. I got to look through the Jesus glasses and see, praise God, am I still representing Christ? Right. Amen. Amen. I got to ask myself that question. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that and that is where I have to know, praise God, that is where I draw the line on certain things. That you say, you know what, that's not really representing Christ. But guess what? I'm going to continue to do this as it does represent Christ. And God is what? Giving you what? The Holy Ghost to know just how far you can go. Amen. Praise the Lord. You got to learn how to police yourself. Amen. 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 You got to learn how to monitor yourself. The Bible says, praise God. Paul says in, 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 in another book, he says, I bring my own self under what? Subjection. Subjection. I, you know, you got to know what's too much for you. That's right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. You got to know your own limitations. You got to know, praise God, where you can and cannot go. Amen. You have to know what you can and cannot do. Right. Praise the Lord. Because I told you I can start a class. Those things in your flesh are constantly what? Kind of do what? Pulling. Pulling you back and trying. And they're looking for an opportunity to what? Accuse you. How many times was Jesus accused in the Bible? I don't even know how many times. Oh, he was accused all the time, wasn't he? All the time. They were looking for an opportunity to do what? Accuse, Accuse him. him. Trying to find him doing something the wrong thing. So guess what? Y'all think that spirit has died? No, sir. They, do you remember Jesus said something? Jesus said, they, they don't hate you because right. of who you are. That's right. They hate me. They hate you because, because of who you represent. Man. That's right. If they hated me, they're going to hate you also. Amen. Amen. If, they, if they crucified me, they're also going to crucify you in certain ways also. But the best thing about it is, if they do crucify you, know that you're going to rise up out of that situation. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. That the crucifixion, praise the God. We always leave the crucifixion at the end. Mm. The crucifixion is the process. Amen. Um, let me let me go on. Go through it. Let me go. Amen. On. See, too many people think all oh, oh, uh, No, that's just the process. Because God has promised that after a while, you want to do what? Come out. That's Raise right. you up. That's right. God cannot go back on His word. Amen. So He's letting the church know here in verse seventeen. But if ye while we seek to be justified in Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, and is therefore Christ a minister of sin? God forbid. For if I build again the things which I destroy, there it is. Everything I've been talking about tonight. I build again the things I destroy, I make myself a what? Transgressor. For I, through the law, am dead to the law, that I might what? Live unto, unto God. Now, this is a continuation of the thought that Paul had from verse number, I'm going to back up here. From verse number 14, 15, 16. Praise God. He's saying, look, we're not justified by, 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 by works, church. We're justified by faith in Christ. Amen. Amen. Our faith has a what, church? A direction. It's directed towards what? The anointing of God. Amen. Because that's what we enjoy today through the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. We have the name of God as his authority. Praise God. And the power to use the anointing. Neither is there any other name given under heaven whereby me and what? Must. 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 Everybody say must. Must. Must, must be saved. Is that what it said? That's what it said. Salvation is, is, is in no other than Jesus Christ. Uh -oh. Praise the Lord. Amen. Paul had a thick thought. He said, but we we seek to be justified in Christ. So I, 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 I want Christ. I want to be justified in Christ. Why do I want to be justified in Christ? The reason why I want to be justified in Christ is that where Christ is, I will be there. Amen. Where is Christ at right now? The Bible says when Stephen was being stoned, where was Jesus at? He was on what? The right hand of God, right? I mean, the right hand of God actually means the same position as God. 
Praise God. He was on what? He was what? Make an intercession for the saints. Guess what? Christ is doing that right now. Amen. Christ is making intercession for us before the Father, saying, you know what? They can make it. Lord, they messed up, but guess what? My blood's already made them worthy. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's making intercession for us. So, so, so I need to be justified in Christ because where Christ is, that's where I'm trying to be. Amen. The Bible says in the presence of the Lord, there's what? Fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. At his right hand, what? Pleasure forevermore. forevermore. He said, we, we ourselves also are found what? Sinners. Why do I need to find myself to become a sinner? Because if I find myself to be a sinner, that means, praise God, I need a Savior. Mm -hmm. See, people who don't need, who, who don't declare themselves a sinner, don't need a Savior. Right. Mm -hmm. See, that's why you have to acknowledge your sin. Remember what David said? David said, thy sin, in Psalm 51, right? Mm -hmm. Thy sin, O oh God, is what? Ever before you, right? Is that what he said? Mm -hmm. He said, against thee and thee only have I what? Sin. David was saying prophetically that he was in need of somebody saving him. Amen. Praise God. Because we understand that sin separates. Praise God. But then what, is, what does he do? He asked for God to do something, right? Mm -hmm. He said, Lord, what? Created me what? A clean, A clean heart. Mm -hmm. David did not say, God, I'm going to create my own clean heart. That's right. He asked God. And he knew him then. He said, Lord, created me what? Clean. A clean heart, O oh God, and what? Renew, Renew a right what? Spirit. 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 What David was saying in a certain essence was that I need somebody to help me. Amen. And when I see that I find myself a sinner, that tells me that, that now Christ can help me. Because Christ helps sinners. Amen. 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 Christ, now watch this. Christ does not just help church folk. Come on now. Amen. Come on. We get in church. Been in church 20 years, see a sinner walk in. If not, if we're not careful, the blessings of God will pollute our mind. That's right. And forget that God is here to seek. Jesus was here to seek and save the lost. The lost. Those that were lost. Is that what the Bible says? That's what it says. Praise God. And, 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 and I gotta remember that he he's there for what? The sinner. He got in trouble. Remember, Jesus got in trouble because he went to uh, 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 the, the, the tax collector's house. Right. They said, why are you sitting around all these sinners? Aren't you God? He said, I go to the lost of the house, the lost sheep of Israel. Mm -hmm. He that is sick don't need a physician. That's right. I'm, he said, I, he let them know I'm a great physician. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help people get, get, get healed and deliver the set free. Uh -huh. And that is the thrust of the church. The Amen. thrust of the church is, 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 is the act what Christ has told us to do. Is to help those who are not saved. Amen. But guess what? The church can't operate when the church is half sick. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The church has to be made whole. Mm -hmm. The church has to have a line made up in order. Y'all understand? Let me say Peter is a great example of the church. Peter could help nobody until Peter got himself together. That's right. Mm -hmm. As bad as Peter was, Peter was a saved, was a fisherman, a knife toting cussing fisherman that was the chief apostle. But Peter couldn't help no Peter. Peter tried to help Jesus cut the man's ear. Right off, right off. <laughs> Jesus. Did not, did not Peter try to help Jesus? He did. He did. In his mind, he was helping, wasn't he? Yep. But he messed up, didn't he? Not until Peter was converted. Not until Peter was what? Shaved. Thank you. Transformed. Then Peter stands up and preaches the first great sermon of the of of, of the New Testament church. Peter represents, and Peter goes on, yes, and we see the life of Peter, and Peter goes on and to do great things, but Peter still had what? Some issues. Amen. But yet God still what? You know, that's right. Amen? Amen? So we have to understand, church, that, that, that the church is going to have issues, but guess what? What other ship or ark are you going to get in to get to the other side, side of the church? Right. Mo, Noah built an ark, did he not? Amen. Animals are all in the ark, right? Yep. But animals produce something. Whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said animals produce stuff. When they eat, they produce some stuff. That's right. Mm -hmm. And guess what? All that stuff was in was in the boat. Was in the ark. Yes, sure enough. Everything God watch this. God called all of them in there, and they brought all that stuff with them. Mm -hmm. But the only way to get to the other side was where? In the, in the, boat. In the ark. Was in the boat. That's right. 
And if you only focus, if, if, if Noah's sons and Noah only focused on that, they would have jumped out the boat. That's right. <laughs> you don't believe me? Wait till the fair opens back up. Right. Go on down on a 95. <laughs> if you want to know what the Arctic was like, wait till the fair opens in your local area. Take the hottest day, 95 degree day, and then go down and visit the sheep barn. Mm. <laughs> Somebody know what I'm talking about, don't you? Amen. If that's what, you go down and visit the sheep barn, go down and visit the chicken house. Come on, somebody, they be at the fair, right? Amen. Amen. They be at the little local uh, co-op, right? You pick the hottest day, you go on down there, and you go down there and walk through there and go to the cow or to the horses and walk on through there on the hottest day you can find, and you're going to find out that's the way it was in the office. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. But guess what all, and what I'm trying to let you understand is that there's going to be always stuff going on that's right. in the church. But you got to look past that and see God. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Paul would have never wrote 13 books to the church if that wasn't the case. Right. And you have to understand you got to keep your focus. So stop focusing. Uh, one person said, stop majoring in the minor. Right. Amen. And minoring in the major. Mm -hmm. Focus on what's important. What's important. Focus on what's important is seeing God saved, seeing God delivered, seeing God set free, and pray for those other things that are going on. Amen. 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 He said here, uh, <clears throat> I need Christ, therefore Christ is, is it, and he asked the question, is Christ a minister of sin? God forbid. But for if I build again the things which I destroy, that's us. That's my responsibility. Right. I, who makes my who makes a transgressor? I do. Remember, what is the definition of sin? One of the definitions of sin is transgressing God's law. Mm -hmm. God said, I, 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 I'm going back to the things I used to do. I, I've disqualified myself. Mm -hmm. God does not want anybody to disqualify himself. Right. But I can go back to the things I used to do and start building those things again. And he says, for I go, and for I, through the law, am dead to the law. Because everything under the law did what? Die. Die. The sheep died. The turtle dove died. Praise God. Even Jesus died under the law. Amen. But guess what? Jesus rose on what? The third Amen. day. Amen. That I might what? Live where? Unto, Unto God. God. Through Jesus Christ. Paul, Paul's trying to help the church here. It's about a mind shift, about a mind change. And right now, people, a lot of people run through a lot of mind shifts and mind changes that's going on. And guess what? Let the word of God get in your mind change. You're feeding your spirit with a lot of media, whatever that media is. You're feeding your mind with a lot of ideologies. But also, feed your heart and mind with the word of God. Amen. The Word of God is so powerful. I'm going to tell you how powerful the Word of God is. The Word of God is so powerful that if you don't know what to read, just open the Bible and start reading. Mm -hmm. That's how powerful the Word of God is. Yeah. And I guarantee after a little while, God's going to speak to your heart. Amen. About whatever you're going through. I don't know how we do it, but somehow someone you to the pages. <laughs> if you don't believe me, try it. Mm -hmm. Going through something, just open and flip that and open that Bible and start reading somewhere. And guess what God does? Comes in and starts touching your heart. Amen. Y'all ought to do the Bible. We ought to start the open Bible challenge. Just open the Bible and start reading. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because God wants, God is a live, God is the living word. Amen. And he wants to speak to your heart and he has the ability to flip you to the right page. Though you think you're doing something random, God knew what page you're going to stop on. Mm -hmm. Whether you do that or not. And he knows how to speak to your heart. Only if you trust. And only if your faith is what? Towards Christ. Right. Amen? I don't rec always recommend that. But one thing is that if you don't know what else to do, do that. Mm -hmm. At least open the Bible and start reading the Word of God. And let God speak to your heart. Then we might live through God. Amen? Mm -hmm. And so, so now what Paul is getting ready to take us into, I'm going to finish up here in the next five minutes. One of, one of the most familiar passages in the New Testament. Look what Paul said. So Paul said that what? I am what? Crucify with Christ. with Christ. So he says, all that chapter two, he says, I'm, I'm what? I'm crucified with Christ. What a powerful statement. He says that I allow God to live and my flesh to die. Mm -hmm. Okay, to die. That's right. I allow God to live and my flesh has to what? Die. 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 I'm going to say it again. God has to live and my flesh has to die. die. Some of our flesh is too alive. 
Amen. It's too alive. Because as soon as a little persecution, a little trouble comes, praise God, amen, you're ready to get off, you're ready to get out. And, and But Jesus never opened up, he never said a, a mumbling word. Amen? amen? He said, but look, he said, nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but what? But Christ, Christ where? Liveth, liveth where? In me. And the life which I now live. Let me talk about the saints of God. Church life is a lifestyle. Amen. That's right. Amen. This is a lifestyle. Have Amen. you heard of alternative lifestyles? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alternative, a, a true alternative lifestyle is any lifestyle that is alternative to any aspect of the Word of God. Amen. So, a drunk is living an alternative lifestyle. Amen. Amen. An adulterer is living in alternative lifestyle. Amen. A liar is living in alternative lifestyle. Amen. We got to expand our thought process about what an alternative life is. Because when we start pigeonholing certain things, homosexuality, right. this, that, and the other, we are missing and we justify other lifestyles. But anything that's outside or contrary to the Word of God is actually alternative lifestyle. Alternative to what? The Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me go ahead and read. Go back and wrote, read what Moses wrote about all those alternatives. God said that all of them were an abomination. And all of them are alternative to what he wants us to do. We ain't got time to go back, but that's, that's your homework assignment. Go back and read where, that, where, where it first shows up in the Word of God about alternative lifestyle. Worshiping and serving other gods. See how that see how that worked out for the children of Israel. Over yeah. <laughs> and over and over again. Mm -hmm. He said, look, he said, but now I live. Look, he said, but Christ lived in me and the life, the life which I now live in my flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God. See, Paul's faith had a what? Direction. Amen. Faith of the Son of God who what? Love. Loved me. And gave himself for me. for me. That's what I'm talking about. Right here is where I'm talking about that that, that Christ did more than what Moses, Moses yeah. and Elijah did. That's the point that, that Paul's trying to get to the to to to, to the, the churches to the brothers at Galatia. That yes, Moses is good. Moses is a great foundation, but there's one greater that he Christ loved me. Nowhere I'm thinking about in the Bible where it says that that Moses loved me. Amen. Nowhere in the Bible, not taking nothing away from Moses, don't get me wrong. Nowhere in the Bible is saying anywhere about Elijah loving me. But when you talk about Jesus, John 3.16 reigns in our hearts. Amen. Amen. For God so loved the world. The world. Yeah. For God is love. love. Greater love had no man than this, that a man would lay down his <laughs> life for a friend. Jesus loves you, church. Amen. Amen. Jesus loves us. Yeah. Praise God. And look, not only did he love us, he proved his love to us. He gave himself for us. Y'all see that? So when we can, if we can comprehend this, is that God loves everybody, and God has gave himself, praise God, for everybody, but Paul puts a caveat on it above that. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. So so, so this, this statement right here comes right in a direct conflict with God loving, amen, everybody's lifestyle. I mean, that's okay, I don't need no amen. <laughs> Come to direct contact with loving everybody's lifestyle. Because Paul says right there, I, for me to live is what? He says, I am what? Crucified, crucified with, Christ. with Christ. In order for me to be crucified with Christ, that means the flesh got to die and Christ got to be alive. Amen. Flesh got to die. And, and, and when people want to live an alternate lifestyle, the flesh is very much, very, very much alive. Amen. And that has to do what? Die. Die. Who loved me and gave for And that's why Paul says in 21, don't frustrate the grace of God. Don't get it back, though. Don't, what did they say? Uh, they don't get it twisted. Don't get it Can twisted. Amen. Don't get it, don't, don't get the grace of God twisted up, messed up. He said, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is what? Dead, dead. dead in vain. He's trying to let them know. If, if everything that Christ did, and the law did the same thing. What Christ did, 
Don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. That's right. What a Paul Paul's building a case here, church. I guess with uh, uh, with the church at Galatia. Amen. He's trying to let them know God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is what we enjoy. God's grace is why we why we sit here, Amen, and listen, and why we're here today. Amen. Righteousness did not come by the law. Righteousness came by Jesus Christ. Amen. And Christ loved us. Christ gave himself for us. And Christ, sure enough, did not die in vain. Amen. 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 But what Paul is, con con is, is, is comparing here is that, okay, so brothers, if you do what the law says, then guess what? Hopefully you find some salvation in the law. But we already know the answer that there is no salvation in the law. So therefore, guess what? We need to have our faith towards what? Towards Christ. Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. So what Paul was doing was that they, they had their faith towards Moses. Right. We're Moses' child. We're Moses' seed. We're following the law, right? Mm -hmm. That's the way it was, right? But remember Jesus sat at that table with the 12 disciples, right? Mm -hmm. And what did he say? He said, behold, I give unto you a what? A new commandment. Right? That's what he said. That's what he said? That's what he said. The new overrides the, the old, old man. That's right. Amen? Amen. He said, Lord, I give it to you. And, and the only person in the Bible passing out commandments. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> is who? Jesus. It's God. That's right. And Jesus is God in the flesh. Moses got his commandments from who? From the finger of God. Is that what he, that what he said? Jesus takes the cup and writes a new Amen. commandment with the finger of God. Amen. And it's not written on the tables of stone. Right. Now it's written on the tables of your heart. Of your heart. Amen. Thank Lord, you. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Woo! Praise him. Amen. Tell you, the only one passing that commandment in the Bible is Jesus. I mean, it's God. Amen. And Jesus was God manifested in the flesh. God is God manifested in the flesh. Amen? Amen. So don't frustrate the grace of God. If you, and I'm going to close on this. We'll, we'll pick up here. I'm not done with this verse 21. But I will say this. If you are enjoying the grace of God. Anybody enjoying the grace of God? Amen. Anybody living in the grace of God? Amen. Amen. Him we live, move, have our being, praise God. Amen. Amen. Watch this. Then give the grace of God. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. If you're living it and enjoying it, praise God. Amen. What does grace do? Grace is what? Unmerited favor. favor. So if I'm enjoying what? Un merited favor. favor then grant and give somebody else uh, somebody else right. unmerited favor, favor. Yeah. I'm going to say this one thing you want to bring racial justice and peace grant grace amen yeah. amen it'll work that's all I'm going to say about that Praise the Lord. Amen. See, the Bible tells us how, how to do this. We just have to read and listen to what the Bible is saying. Amen. Jesus granted grace. All of us Bible thumpers, yeah, I'm going to call it Bible thumpers because we can thump people upside the head with the Bible. Come on. <laughs> if we are enjoying the grace of God, why can't somebody else enjoy it too? That's right. Give, yeah. give them some grace. Give them a little space. Ask God to help them. Pray for them. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. We, we cannot... We cannot take everything and not be a giver. Right. Because the Bible says what about that? What does the Bible say about that? that it's more blessed to give. give. You learned that when you're three in Sunday school. Come right. on, somebody. Amen. It's more blessed to what? Give. To give than it is to what? To receive. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So, 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 so all through the word of God, God is trying to what? Help us. All we got to do is what? Open our hearts. Open our minds mm -hmm. and let God speak to us. Amen. 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 We're gonna pray. That's where we're gonna end the prayer tonight. Is that all right? Amen. amen. We're gonna pray. Amen. As God, as Paul was helping and opening the hearts and minds of the church, the Galatians church. So God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Thank you.
Help us, Lord, to open our hearts and minds right now in Jesus' name. God, we thank you for all of your grace that you've given us, the unmerited favor of God. You granted unto us, O Lord, though we may be different, there's neither bond nor free. Yes, Lord. There's neither male nor female. Yes. There's neither Jew nor Greek. But we are all one in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, continue the love of God bring us together. Continue, O oh God, to let the love of God heal us yes. from the pandemic. Help us, O oh God, to understand, Lord, that we are family. Glory to I'm going to say it. All my brothers, sisters, and me, we're Amen. family. Amen. 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 And we are in the family of God. And we just want to continue to love, keep, and bless us in our differences and unify us in our lives. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. 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 Come on, clap your hands, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands again, shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. God bless you and keep you. It is our prayer. We pray that God's blessings be upon you on today. Amen. May the Lord, amen. If you want to donate to the church, feel free. Amen. Check our website. Amen. Tithes and offerings. Amen. This is a good ground. So we just promote to you to go visit our website. Amen. You can check it here on our Facebook page. Check out our YouTube page. That God be with you. We'll be praying for you. Have prayer requests. Amen. Reach out to us. Send us a message through our website. And we'll get back with you. In Jesus' name. God bless. Amen. Amen. amen.